the head of the woman is the man. No, the black woman don't, the Hispanic woman, they don't have no head. They can do whatever they want. And guess what? This is in the New Testament for all you Christians. Go in. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of the man, the head of the woman is who? Is the man. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is the man. Read it again. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of the woman is the man. That is, that, this is how we fix the black household. Right. We fix the black household because this. I-S-U-P-K. To the family, brother, Red Pill representing on the ledge. Do me a favor, family. Make sure you subscribe to I-S-U-P-K on YouTube. Get some of that fire that the brothers are delivering. Some of that good information, all right? For that. Day, when we when we are sitting here aborting our children, you got more abo aborted uh, baby, uh, 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 more aborted mothers than you do mothers that have children, man. And then the mothers that have children representing Aisha Curry, the mothers that have children want attention from every other man. Why would you be asking? This is what the heathen holidays do. She decides to pull this from from what she celebrates. <coughs> she decides to pull this right before Mother's Day. And Curry is still going to spend a billion dollars and a whole basketball court on his sister right here, man. Go ahead. The, the, the sister Aisha Curry had, um, it's, a, it's an issue that all, that all women go through, man. Of, of saying, you know, from, from, from since, since, since days old, man, since days old, even to the, even to the Garden of Eden, Satan gave Eve attention and Eve disobeyed God. And even today, Stephen Curry's wife, she said, with, with, with him, what, two, a couple years back, he just got a 200, a 200 million contract, right? He, she, she, got, she got a house and all that. That money means nothing to her. It means nothing to her. She, want, she, got, she got a good life. She got, she got beautiful children. She got a decent husband, man. That is not enough for her. Right. She says she wants a lease. No, she does, she doesn't. She doesn't feel good with the love from her man. But if other men give her attention, she'll feel good. That is the spirit of a whore, man. Right. I'm not saying. I'm not saying she has sex with another man. But us living in America, we do not have the spirit of God. Right. If we had the spirit of God, we would know. We we would know. Our women and our men would know. We would know how to treat each other, and we would know how to live. We would know that in, in, in the, if, we walk in the, if we walk in the laws of God, our women are not going to seek attention from other men. Right. They would know that that's the spirit of a whore. Right. They would know that is the spirit of adultery. Right. Adultery means what? For a woman to have sex with another man when she already has a man. Right. Black man, uh, and she's worried about, and she's worried about other women. She, uh, Aisha Carey also said, uh, they, were, they were walking one day, some fans walked up, some fans walked up to Steph Curry for some autographs, but one woman was outrageous. One woman ran up to the car and stuck her head in the, in the window and it was trying to get a picture or something. 
And Aisha Curry just told her, you know, no, it's okay, we in a car. And she turned to Aisha Curry and told her, you know what you signed up for? Meaning, meaning this, with her having a rich man, she should know that um, other women are gonna want her. I mean, want Steph Curry. But that's not the issue. That's not the issue at all. It hasn't been no stories or any scandals coming out saying that Steph Curry did this or did that. And another thing, it can't be a scandal if another man has sex with another, wo with another woman if you already got a woman. Because a man can have more than one wife according to God. It, ain't, it, is not, it is not a sin for a man to have another woman. It is a sin for a man to, to have sex with whores. It is a sin for a man to have sex with prostitutes. But if a man wants to marry a, another woman, a third and a fourth and a fifth, it is lawful. He can do it, man. Now, with this woman wanting to, with, with this woman wanting, wanting to feel viable by getting attention from other men, or other men, is horrible. It is the attention, it, it, is, it is the spirit of the whore. And we're going to get in the Bible. And, that, and that's what's in the Christian church. And guess what? Give me, give me the Proverbs. Give me Ecclesiasticus chapter 26. Because it, this, this, is the, this is the thing. And you give me Isaiah chapter 30. You give me Isaiah chapter 30 verse 1. We have the wrong spirit, black and Hispanic, man. The reason we do, the reason our woman... What, the reason a woman a woman don't feel some they, they don't feel special with our attention what what they they already got used to they already got used to us you had a you had a wife for five years ten years twenty years oh so she she's used to your attention oh she don't need your attention no more she has to feel new and get some different attention nah that's the wrong spirit that is an evil spirit that the Christian Church in America has taught our woman man go ahead give me a Give me a click, all right, brother. Give me a click, see how it's good. 26, 26, 26. Go ahead, 26, go ahead. Ecclesiastes, chapter 26, verse 26. A woman that honoreth her husband shall be judged wise of all. Right, a woman that honoreth her husband shall be judged wise of all, man. Meaning what? If a woman if a woman honor, honor her husband, if she, if she always speak highly of her husband, she respects her husband, she submits herself to her husband, Everybody will look at her as why. And, and it's like, it's, it's, it's a scripture in there that said, that's talking about what she's saying. But Captain Al Thug said, if she watch out, if she watches out for what she's saying, you, you black woman, you, you, you got you a man. This better woman, you got you a man. You gotta watch your damn mouth, man. You cannot be out here disrespecting your house and ashaming your house. What Alicia, what Aisha Carey said, Stephen Carey's wife said, when she said she wants to feel, she said, Stephen Carey, Forever, he has always got attention. He always had groupie flock, groupies flocking at him. But I have never gotten that. I have never gotten any, any attention at all. And that is a, that is a Christian church, the Christian church giving a woman a feeling of 50-50, man. A feeling of 50-50. Give me, um, what is it? What does it say, silent? What does it say? Ecclesiastes chapter 26. Verse 14, a silence. This is what Alicia, this, this is what Stephen Curry's wife should have did at that red table. She should, she should do what? A silence. A silent woman. Shut your damn mouth. Do not embarrass your husband or your man. Right. It says what? A silence. A loving woman. A silent and loving woman. Let her not, not, not a loud mouth dog. Right. All, all, all of us, or a lot of us go home to a woman. You've been at work, working. You come home and she's complaining about something that could have been handled the day before or it could be handled after. It ain't that important. Or well, some of y'all deal with some uh, controlling beasts and she got, a leash on your, she got a leash on your neck and you need to break it if you want to be a man. You need to grow some balls and break that damn leash. You come in that house and she want to check your phone and ask you where you have been at. You got, I, 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 I got cousins that's still young. They're still 23. And they woman is hitting them upside the head. And they and they ain't doing nothing about it. I'm like, brother, look, you gotta move out the house. This girl should not be punching you upside the head and you ain't doing nothing wrong. You ain't touch her and she hits you because she feel like you lying to her. They don't give her the right to hit you. But be, but guess why she has that spirit? Guess why she feels so powerful and feel like she has the right to hit a man? It is because of spirit of Christianity. It is just, why? Because Christianity in America, they worship the woman. Christian, America is known as what? 
Babylon the whore, many waters. We are living in Babylon the whore. And, and our women have got, have, have inherited and bring, they, they have inhaled the spirit of Babylon the whore. And they think that they are divas. They think they are queens and goddesses. Well, you should be, well, you should shut your damn mouth, man. And not embarrass your house. And not embarrass your husband. Let's see what the Bible says. Go ahead. A silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord. Hey, this said a gift of who? Of the Lord. A gift of the Lord is what? And there's nothing. Read again. Uh, so like a silent and a loving woman uh -huh. is a gift of the Lord. Is a gift of the Lord, man. Aisha Carey at first. Steph Stephen Carey would take pictures of her with uh, all over Instagram and Facebook with their family. Everybody said that Stephen Carey and Aisha Carey was goals. They would say, I want a man like this, or I want, a, I want a beautiful family like this. Now that reputation has tarnished. That reputation has is diminished, man. They were calling them a power couple, man. But now they all, but now they all hush more, man. Right. Just like how they worship uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce's uh, relationship. Right. That's how Stephen Carey and his wife was. But ever since, ever since that woman opened her mouth and said, I, she basically said, I don't feel like nothing. The attention, the, 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 the attention from Stephen Curry is not enough for her. She needs, she wants to feel, vi she only will feel viable and feel like a, and feel like a real beautiful, sexy woman if another man, uh, if another man says something to her. And that is the spirit of a whore, man. Go ahead. And there is nothing so, oh, you And there is nothing. And there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. There is nothing worth what? As a mind well instructed. If you are a black woman or a Hispanic woman, if you want to be worth something, you want to be better than gold, this is how you be better than gold. Read on. A, a, a mind what? A mind well instructed. It says a, a mind well instructed. Meaning what? Somebody has to be instructing you, black woman. Right. Somebody has to be instructing you, Hispanic woman. That's and right. that is your man. Right. Give me uh, 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. Your man is the one that is supposed to be instructing you, man. That is who is supposed to be instructing you. You got instructions. You, got, you have instructions. You have a manual. And that manual comes from your man's mouth. You listen to your man. Whatever word he say, you do. As long as it's lawful to the Bible. You've been listening to other men. You've been listening to pastors who don't give a damn, and you have become a whore. Right. You have your 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 ears and your mouth is terrible, man. Right. And and why is that? How come? How come? How come you? How come you listen to everybody but your man that you having sex with? That's crazy as hell. You go home. You lay down. Your man trying to lay down that lay. He lay down that pipe to you in, in the bedroom. He pay the bills. Y'all y'all collectively pay the bills, keep the rent going. Y'all get groceries in the y'all get groceries in the refrigerator. But when it comes time for you to get some advice, when you when you feel when you are panicking and you need help, you don't listen to your damn man. Right. That is that's because you're in the wrong spirit and you have not been reading the Bible. And church does not teach us the Bible. Read. First Corinthians, chapter eleven, verse three. But I will have you know that the head of every man. This is your instructor, black woman, black man. It is not 50-50. The white man is a homosexual. He wants everything to be 50-50. He wants, he wants, he wants, he, he, he is going to allow pedophilia. He is, he is the seed us in the thing in it. He, he is, he is going to allow 50-50. He is going to allow a 50-year-old man to marry a 6-year-old boy. He is going to allow it pretty soon. Pedophilia, he isn't going to allow. The, the white man is the author of confusion, and he is the devil. Read on. It ain't, it ain't no 50 50. Black man, listen up. This is what God said. Go ahead. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Black man, you got a head. You are supposed to listen to Christ. And black woman, you're supposed to listen to somebody too. Go ahead. And the head of the woman. Uh oh, you got a head. It ain't no 50-50. It ain't, I do whatever I want, nah, shut your damn mouth. Right. You got somebody to listen to, go ahead. The head of every woman is the man. Is who? Is the man. Is who? Is the man. Is the man. If you, if you hear that, it ain't no, it's, it's no more arguing. 
It ain't no more iron. It ain't, it, it ain't no, your man tell you something, and you talking about, my father don't even talk to me like that. Well, that's the issue. Your father should have been talking to you like that. That's right. Your father should have been instructing you the right way. Right. Your father should, and when you, when you are being a, when you are being a disobedient daughter, you should have got punished. And when you, when you were being an obedient daughter, you should have got rewarded. But you have got rewarded when you sin, and when, when, you, when you're doing wrong, nor are you doing right. Because the Christian church tears down the masculinity of our brothers, man. Right. Our brothers, they, they go to church. We all went to church and went to the mosque to try to look for some kind of spirituality. But we have found nothing in the church nor the mosque, man. If you, if you want to learn how to deal with a black woman, you come and grab your flyer, man. That's you come right. and grab your flyer. We got online classes, and we got the, we got the truth of the Bible right here. Right. We got the scriptures right here. Read it again. Go ahead. If, I, if, if, Ste if Stephen Curry knows that he's the head, he would know that Aisha Curry should shut her damn mouth. And she, have not, she would have not been at the she have not would, she have not been at the red table. She would have she would have not embarrassed her husband. And he and he and he and she would have known that if she sat at that red table. That red table is, is represents whores. Just like if you if you if you ever heard. The red light, have you ever heard the red light district? The red light district meaning what? This this city or this area got prostitution. That red table represent them whores. And, 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 and Amsterdam, man. Go ahead. First Corinthians, chapter 3, verse, chapter, chapter 11, verse 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. The head of every man is Christ. And I, I don't and I don't want to hear any of I don't want I don't want to hear any any of my weak brothers, man. Become a soldier and man up. Do not don't say I'll follow man. You got a man to follow. You follow a black man named Jesus Christ, man. And a, a hardcore austere man. That's who you follow, man. And he was not that homosexual the Christian church painted him. He wasn't white. And he wasn't all loving all the time. He, correct, he corrected men. Some men got cursed out. Sometimes Christ had to go into the temple and flip the tables and get criminals out of the, out of the church, man. And that's, and that's love. And that's powerful. And that's order. And that's the same spirit you got to be in, black man. Go ahead. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of the woman is the man. Read it again. And the head of the woman is the man. No, the black woman don't, and the Hispanic woman, they don't have no head. They can do whatever they want. And guess what? This is in the New Testament for all you Christians. Go in. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of the man, the head of the woman is who? Is the man. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is the man. Read it again. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of the woman is the man. Right. And the head of the woman is the man. Right. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of the woman is the man. That is, that, this is how we fix the black household. Right. We fix the black household because this. You got children in the house. The woman is there sometimes in the house, sometimes she's not. But when, when, when there's an issue, she might handle it. But she calls up. She calls up an order. She, she calls her husband. She says, babe, I got something going on in the house. This needs to be done or there's some trouble. And he comes to handle it or he, give, or he tells her, you go ahead and handle it. You do this and you do that. Thank you, brother. But guess what? When there is no, when there's no black man in that household, when there's no man in that household, there is chaos. Why? Because there is no order. The woman needs help. The, the woman needs help to build that household, man. She tries, she tries her best. She puts all her energy in it, and it still isn't good enough, black man. You need your masculinity in there. We need, we need the, and guess what? The black woman is powerful too. Her, her feminality and that nourishment and that love that she got is powerful and strong. It is something that'll make it, that'll help a man get through this hell. But also, that masculinity of that husband is needed too to help her through the hell that we go through about our, our, our oppressor who is the white man. Right, right. You are the black man. Your, your, your soldier spirit 
Your warrior spirit is needed to help fight the hell that we go through, man. Right. Get back in that household, man. Right. What you have, brother? Ecclesiastes, chapter 26, verse 7. An evil woman, an evil woman, go ahead, is a yoke shaking to and fro. She's a yoke shaking to and fro, man. She ain't solid. She's not stable. She's everywhere. Go ahead. He that have hold on her, it meaning she's a burden, man. And she can get you killed. Read on. He that have hold on her is as though he held a scorpion. If you if, if you got an evil woman, guess what? Because we got evil, we got we got we got lovely and beautiful Hispanic and black women, but we also got evil and messed up uh, messed up sisters too. And guess what the Bible says? If you have an evil woman, go ahead. He that hath hold on her is as though he held a scorpion. As though if you held a scorpion. Imagine you pick up a scorpion, right? You know that scorpion got that sting on that tail. That scorpion, does it make sense? Is it sensible to, for you to pick up a scorpion with your bare hands and hold it? It's going to sting you, man. And that, is, and, that is, and that is us having an evil woman, man. You got beautiful women that dedicate and do everything for their household and their, their household and their uh, and their man. I, I know. They, they, and thank you, black and you black men. It's high time for us to start picking righteous women. Do not do not look at some and, got, and that's an issue. You you got women that's looking to do the right thing, but they look at us and see what we and see, and see what we like. If we're looking at whores, if we're looking at women. That, that, that just like Nicki Minaj and Cardi B, they, they're, they're gonna be influenced and dress like that and act like that. Right. But if we, if, we, if we start clowning Cardi B and start clowning and ashamed, and ashamed Cardi B and say, man, we don't want no woman like that. We want a woman like this. Our woman will now try to be like that, man. Right. Our women are influenced by what we like. They are influenced by what we like and we gotta like the right things so we can all do the right thing together. And no longer can we have any daughters that's sneaking out the house, man. And now we don't know what our daughter is, and she's going missing. How many missing black women is it in D.C.? Oh, it's hundreds of black women that have no cases, man. Black men, it's time for you to get back in that household. You are needed in that household, man. And black, and, and, and black women, when that black man is in that household, give him some rest. Right. Be, his, be his peace, man. Right. Don't, 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 don't let him come in there. And him laying beside you is like him laying on a bed of nails. Right. Let him let him come in there and him laying beside you is like laying on clouds, man. Right. Be as comfortable cloud to your man. And black man, you be a strong pillar, a strong rooted tree that cannot be moved for your household, man. Trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed, so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's already turned from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale Listen well to what I tell No calling can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword.